So the question says find all angles that satisfy the equation sine of theta equals one half. Well, sine of theta, because it's a sine, um, the sine represents the y value. So we can go over here to the unit circle and find all angles in which the y value is one half. So I can see that here. Um, looking through, that's not going to work because that's negative one half. That's not going to work because that's the x value. We need the y value. So that would be here and here. So within the first zero to 360 degrees, uh, and it's asking for all angles, um, but within zero to 360, we have five pi over six and pi over six. So five pi over six, sorry, I'm using my mouse here. <laughs> it's not too, not the best way to do it, but I'm, I don't have uh, my mouse with me. So then that's pi over six, let me put that. All right, so that again is within the first 180 degrees. However, since it wants all values, it wants all coterminal angles included. So let's start with five pi, I mean uh, pi over six. So if we add two pi, we're gonna come right back to the same angle and it will still have a y value of one half. So we can add two pi. And then if we add two pi, that's yet another solution for the equation given. Then we can add 2 pi again, we can add 2 pi again, and we can continue adding 2 pi. So what I can do is just put here times n. When n equals 0, that means that um, 2 times pi times 0, that would give us pi over 6. If n equals 1, that's 2 times pi, then plus pi over 6, that's going to go around one time, and so forth. So pi over 6 plus 2 pi n is one of the solutions. And then we also have this solution, 5 pi over 6, and we want to include all angles. So if you add 2 pi and you continue adding 2 pi, you can go from n, um, n would obviously be an integer, um, which should probably be there in the um, solutions too. But I think that, you know, it's pretty common in math, especially with angle measures in the unit circle, to use this uh, right here, 2 pi n. And all that means is that you're going to end up at the same angle no, no matter how many times you go around the unit circle. It's going to be coterminal and will still have a y value of 1 half.